All right, so um, I did shit some more. So I guess I'm getting better. I'm shitting. Let's cross our fingers that it is not a uh, hernia. Let's y'all believe in me that it's just still food poisoning. That maybe it's just a little more severe than I thought it was. But uh, like I said, that ground down made a difference, and uh, I'll be eating some more today. But I am shitting better, so yes, I might be all right. And but uh, I'm just hoping that it's not a hernia because if it is a hernia, I don't want to go under the knife. I don't want to be cut open again, like I did with you know when they had to do surgery on my arm and they put my arm back together. You know I hate being hurt. When they cut you open, what happens? You gotta lay around and take it easy. I don't like doing that. I like working. I like making money. I don't want to go to caravan and say, oh, I'm going to need workman's calm now. Because then when they frown on you, and then they start treating you like shit. i seen what happens to people. Like you said, Scott Harvey, he, he got in the workman's calm because that, and later on they fired him. They just let him go. But he was making like 23 bucks an hour. But, uh, you know, I'm just hoping, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers that it's not a hernia. It's just still. Because even a guy at work, the pork truck driver, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Butch. Butch, our pork truck driver, said, Carl, why didn't you show to work? This was on Saturday, yesterday. Carl, why didn't you show up for work yesterday? I said, I had food poisoning. He goes, so what the hell are you doing here now? I said, well, I owe Scott Boyd 600 bucks and I need to make some money. And he just shook his head and drove away. Another guy said, actually, it's none of his goddamn business. That's what I should have told him. I said, no, but I know him. He's going to go around telling everybody. So, cool, tell everybody. Carl Kish had food poisoning. And hoping that's just what it was, food poisoning. Because like I said, I'm feeling better now, I'm getting better now. Well, shit, I've been laying down for three or four days now. <laughs> so, lots of cranberry juice, lots of cedar in every couple hours. You know, I'm not overdoing it, so don't get me wrong, you know, every couple hours or whatever, but it takes me cedar for the pain. Got some orange juice, you know. I haven't eaten yet, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the Tiger Meat Challenge again. Love you, and uh, thanks to Rick Dyer. He just made my day. He said he checked out some of my videos and he enjoyed them. So Rick Dyer, if you can, help me help you. Let's believe that. Yo, that's, I learned that from Rick, Rick Dyer. Believe that. I'm a believer. He's a believer. We are all believers. We got to believe in something. We all got to believe in someone. Y'all believe in me? Well, I believe in Rick Dyer that he is just like me. He's an entertainer. He said he captured and killed Bigfoot. He said they cut him open to do an autopsy and found a baby Bigfoot inside of him. Found out that they can reproduce on their own. That's when he really got more subscribers and more viewers. People were like, right on that. He says, yeah, I got good news. I got more insane news. And he's banging his hands on his desk, you know, and saying, I got, I got something really crazy to tell you. Stay tuned next week, whatever. And I got more exciting news to tell you about Big One. And it was, so he has all like, you know, wanting to know what's going on, what's going on, what now, what now. And they said that when they cut him open, that there was a baby Bigfoot inside of him. And found out they can reproduce on their own. So, Rick, how would I know that if I didn't watch all your videos? I love you, man. And uh, yes, the beard will be back by Christmas. Singing Santa needs subscribers. Love you. Later. I am doing better. La, 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 la. Oh.
ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I'm doing better already. Love you. Believe that.